and the remains of Nsambweni Member of Parliament, Suleiman Dori, have been buried at his Gazi village in Kwale County. The legislator passed on on Monday morning following a short illness. According to ODM, the lawmaker died of cancer. And as a reporter Dickens Levander tells us, many leaders have eulogized Dori as a great politician who put the interest of his constituents first. Born in 1977, 43-year-old Suleiman Ramadan Dori died at around 5 a.m. on Monday while receiving treatment at the Agahan Hospital in Mombasa. Fellow MPs including Mishimboko of Likoni and Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir of Mvita who were with him during his ailing times at the hospital narrated how Dori who also served as the chairman of the coast parliamentary group was optimistic of recovering from the short illness so as to go back and serve his electorate. Mutumepoteza kiongozi kijana mchanga kijana ambaye was very ambitious kijana ambaye alikuwa na matumaini mingi sana katika uongozi na katika pia kuangalia constituency yake na watu wake kwa jumla tumempoteza it's a big loss it is a gap for all of us while speaking at the Agahan hospital before the body was moved to his home village in Gasi Nasir said their colleague had been admitted at the facility within three days before passing on amepata infection ya ya throat ikawa na complication ya ya dengu cause pneumonia it caused the, the lungs uh, kuweza ku, kuingia maji mingi sana at a funeral service held at his home village several coastal leaders led by Kwale governor Salim Vuria described Dori as an ambitious focus leader whose sole aim was to empower his electorate in terms of education and streamline the infrastructure sector in Msambweni and also someone who prioritizes peace and unity of the coastal people na sisi vile vile tumekuja kutoa salamu za rambi rambi na inshallah Mwenyezi Mungu amke na alipe mapepone. At the funeral service, the ODM party was represented by Secretary General Edun Sifuna and Chairman John Badi, while the National Assembly Majority Leader Eden Dwale represented the house. Nimesimama hapa kama katibu mkuu wa chama cha ODM ambacho ndicho uh, Mheshimiwa Beri alikuwa ametumia kuingia bunge. Nataka nichukue fursa hii kwa niaba ya afisi kuu ya chama na wanachama wote najua tuko hapa na mwenyekiti nifikishe rambi rambi za chama kizima cha ODM Suleiman Dori was first elected in parliament in 2013 through the Orange Democratic ODM party and later retained it in a hotly contested 2017 election Five years later a clear indication of how Msambweni residents had entrusted him with leadership Dori also served as a member of the Departmental Committee on Lands and Natural Resources and also a member of the Departmental Committee on Public Works, Roads and Transport in the National Assembly. President Uru Kenyatta, the ODM party, Deputy President William Ruto and the Council of Governors led Kenyans in eulogizing the late MP, describing him as an attitude politician who served his constituents with utmost commitment. Mombasa Governor Alia Sanjo, who is out of the country through Senator Mohamed Faki, said Doris life will forever remain a lesson of courage and a true dedication to community service. While still serving as a loyal ODM member, Dori took a swipe at President Uhuru Kenyatta in 2016 following a statement he made when he visited Likoni. During the visit, President Uhuru Kenyatta told coast residents to apologize to him for not voting him in the 2013 general election, a statement which asked Dori during his second term in office, Dori's relationship with ODM was once questioned after his party leader Raila Odinga had a ceasefire with his rival President Uhuru Kenyatta in the famous March 9, 2018 handshake. Dori and his Malindi counterpart Aisha Juma had defied their party after they publicly declared support for Deputy President William Ruto in the 2022 state house race. However, after a meeting with the party leadership, he was pardoned and allowed to stay in ODM. Doris remains have been buried at his village in Gasi, Msambweni constituency, Kwale County. Dickens Lovanda for Hope TV News Watch.